Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how to fix the glitch where if you're playing SMT5 and Yuzu, it crashes right before you can name your character. This is also the first video using my voice, this is what I sound like. I'm not that used to it, so if I sound kind of bored and that kind of stuff, just spare the hate there. Alright, onto the steps. I'm going to try and make this as clear as possible, but if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section. This tutorial is also assuming that you have Yuzu and Ryujinx installed and set up and ready to go, as, la as well as the game. I will leave links in the description for both of the emulator's websites, but I cannot give out the ROM for the game or anything else like that. So I recommend getting it yourself by just dumping your cartridge and bring it onto the PC, as long as as well as the keys needed to. Um, boot up the game on emulators. Alright, onto the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you're in Ryujinx menu here, you want to go to options, settings, it should be in general, and you add SMT5 into the game, into the menu via this bit here by going add games, you know, boom, add, add, apply, save. A big truck just went past. My bad. Um, once it's in there, you can boot it up just as you would. Um, and you have to let the shaders load. I've already done that. Okay, so once you're in the main menu, you just want to start a new game. And I'm going to go casual because it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. And just wait for it to load. There'll be a few cutscenes before you actually get to the naming part. I'm going to skip these as I don't. Really, I've already watched them, so I don't really need to. Um, and he's going to talk for a bit, and then we'll get to the naming part, which is around now. And we've got Nakabino here, enter my name, Will, and last name, Mona. Uh, this is where the game would usually crash at this screen here, or just before when you're entering your first name. Um, but it hasn't in Ryujinx, which is great. And after that, I'm going to skip until I get to the save part. Okay, so when you get into the Shinigawa station, this is where the first save point is. Just after you um, look over here, and yeah, skip all this because it's really better. Um, and then you're going to turn around, you talk to Miyazu here. And she's just gonna ask you to look out for her brother for you. And she's gonna stay here, blah blah blah. Leave it to me. And then just after this conversation is where the first save point is when you reach that point right there. It says A to move, it's gonna ask you um, if you'd like to save, say yes, say to the first slot, and you're done. And Ryujinx now, so you go up to Actions, Stop Emulation, and it should stop. Then you go Open User Save Directory, copy to those two, copy, X out of there. You want to go into User, then go into Open Save Data Location, paste those two in there and overwrite anything it asks you. So if it asks you to, you know, which one to pick, you always pick the new file, if it's the new save. And once you've done that, you just want to boot it up. It's going to be quick for me because I've done it before. And the saves should be there when they're done. So that's the tutorial finished. Um, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, Give it a like. If you really didn't like it, then you know, dislike it. It's your decision. If you loved it, you might want to consider subscribing because I'm going to probably do a few more of these videos. And if you want to suggest some videos, you can do that in the comments. Also ask questions because that would help other people as well to see it. Um, you know, if they want to have any more info and you would ask a question like the same one, then you know, it helps them as well. 
uh, the save file should be here and there we go, Shinigawa Gala Station so hope you enjoyed it that's, yeah, that's it, thank you